Hey guys, Monday, July 11th, it's 8 p.m. 6.5 turd blow diesel that actually makes boost now. Pick this thing up real cheap. Gonna be reselling it. Runs pretty good. Somebody messed with it, didn't know what they were doing, put the wrong size belt on the deck. So the deck stayed on all the time because these MTDs, see how the deck moves backward? That's what engages the belt. Well, the deck was like up to here because it had two sheets of metal on it. So, yeah. Fixed. Took that belt off. Got to get the right size belt. Um, guy messed with the carburetor, screwed some stuff up. I fixed it. Runs good now. Uh, it's the Vera Drive deal. See the got the snowmobile type deal there had to get that freed up a little bit but it's working good now and oh look what uh look what moved hmm it uh i had worked on this thing tried to get it started one day and i it was giving me all kinds of fits backfiring out the car and i figured it was dead so i was like all right well for today for whatever dumb reason i thought you know what i got two batteries in the or the brown truck that ought to whip this dead starter right around well sure enough it did oh that's why i'm not getting fuel ha <laughs> ha anyway uh it fired up and uh it had been running or it was running hold on a sec here i formed a habit of uh figuring something was junk like, it was showing all signs of being no good and saying, all right, this thing's done for. Going to have to put an engine on it. And then just randomly jumping on it one day and it fires up. Hence this and the uh, 1864 Cub Cadet that I showed you guys in that one video. Oh. It'd be nice if uh, it would shut off, you know. Fixed. Ooh, bug call me. So I'm going to back the brown turd up, get her jumper cabled here and... See if we can't get her running again. And maybe we'll go for a ride. Sweet. Alright, I have to make this quick because my battery's dying and my phone doesn't want to charge because it's a piece of shit. But anyway, you can see this thing's running like every it comes to ever. Burning more oil than gas. But it's been running, it's running pretty half decent. So it's kind of a shame that the engine's the way it is, but this thing is awesome. Like, there is no slop in the steering. Well, that much. Barely. This thing is tight, man. Every linkage is tight. The clutch pedal is nice and tight. It engages nicely. The brake works. Here, hold on. I locked them up, which, although, uh, able to see it. It's kind of come loose. Or the brake pad came loose. That's the brake pad in there. Which I think I can just glue it. Heck, the brakes on the other bones don't hardly work. I about crashed the one day because I couldn't stop hardly. Well, let's go for a little drive, shall we? Yeah, this one's nice and tight. I just went through all the gears. All the gears work. The only thing that's not right on this, well, two things. The PTO won't disengage, and I think it has too short of belts on it. And the, uh, the it's stiff down in there. So I gotta fix that. And, uh, that, of course, that brake disc I gotta fix. But other than that, this thing's awesome. I'm kinda happy that it fired up and I can take it for a drive. This thing, like I said, has the nice deck lift on it. One with the four little arm 
arms that pick the whole deck up evenly instead of the caddy wampus freaking contraption that the 1050 has that lifts it cockeyed. That's awesome. Yeah, I just figured uh, do a little video of this thing. drive this thing a little more but I'm gonna stop recording here in just a minute anyway we'll go in the garage for a second can't shut it off because it won't restart obviously because I had to jump it free tractor or not free tractor but cheap tractor anyway guys hope you just enjoyed that little video there of that thing uh, I've been kind of itching to do something with it so at least I got something done, but hopefully that'll hold you over till I get working on this thing again, which hopefully will be later this week. Uh, I finally figured out how I'm going to fit a radiator in the PTO clutch and and uh, some other stuff, I do believe. Uh, probably going to have to space the, the grill up a little bit, like a quarter to half an inch to give me extra room under the hood to fit the radiator. Okay guys, this is, uh, I'm going to interrupt this video here, this is quote unquote after I ended the video earlier. I just took this thing for a drive, up and down the whole road pretty much, but before I left I tweaked the carburetor a little bit, and now it's running pretty darn good. Uh, so, yeah, it's blowing out some oil in places, but that's okay. Uh, it just, that just means it needs thicker oil. <laughs> but I think, I think for now, since this thing's running good, I think I'm going to, uh, I think I'm going to, I want to tweak the car. I think I'm going to put a battery in it, because obviously, well, obviously, a starter and take it apart and fix that uh, fix that uh, yeah that thing that thing there fix the the PTO clutch so it operates correctly yeah, that's intelligent leave your shit lay fix the PTO clutch so it operates properly uh, and fix the brake or re epoxy the brake disc where it's supposed to be mounted to so it'll actually work which I found new old stock ones so maybe I'll just order two so that way I have a good break for this and the other one but uh but I think for the time being maybe There we go. I think maybe, for the time being, might just, like I said, put a battery on it, put a starter on it. Uh, well, if it needs it, it might just be that uh, bad battery or not making a good connection with the jumper cables there or something. Put the battery in it, possibly a starter, maybe a fuel pump. That was easily working for now, so it might stay that way. Put some thicker oil on it, because I'm watching it run out in places. Uh, and then just use it like this for a little bit. Until the engine blows or whatever. Because, heck, why tear it apart if it's still running? You know what I mean? Alright, back to the end of the video. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, my phone's dying, so there's like a seven or eight minute video for you. Uh, hope you enjoyed it, guys. Uh, yeah, like I said, I've been itching to get that thing running again, but uh, too bad the engine's junk. But you know what? There's they make new ones every day, so sometime we'll have to get maybe a Harbor Free V twin for it. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, anyway, guys, uh, go check out the Offer 94 Facebook fan page and give it a like if you haven't already. It's up to over a thousand likes. Actually, I think if I'm thinking right, which 
Probably not. I think it's close to 1,300 likes. Could be wrong. Or maybe it's 1,080. I don't know. I'll have to look. But anyway, uh, subscribe if you haven't already. I'm up over 4,000 subscribers, which is freaking awesome. Thanks, guys. I love it. Uh, appreciate all the views. And uh, till the next video, take her easy, guys. Catch you later.